it's time for the host to acknowledge the story, even if it's a comment in passing. Hey, guys. Hey, look, you know, I know about the Jack Murphy situation. Obviously, we had him on the show. Um, that was after the You Are Here appearance. And then Jack Murphy made some comments. Sydney uh, and Eli or Elijah Schaefer have commented on it and kind of given more clarification. And right now, we're just trying to figure out how exactly we want to move forward with this. It's a very delicate situation, and I fully understand the audience is very, very concerned and, and, and wants to know what's going on, and I can promise you, let me, give me a little time, and I'll work out the details, and I'll give you guys a, a proper answer, but I do appreciate your patience. So we're going to move forward on to some more topics that we have lined up, and we'll get to this at a later date. Thank you, guys. End of discussion. It's over. Why the fuck is that so hard to do? Like, you got to ask yourself, why would that be so hard for Tim Pool to do that? What's going on, everybody? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today we're going to talk more about the Jack Murphy situation, specifically because so many people on the conservative side of the argument, the same people that love to call out Hollywood hypocrisy, they love to call out the left, they love to mention anything they can do to fit their narrative, but they don't want to mention Jack Murphy. The same people that promoted Jack Murphy, the same people that hung out with him, the same people that are friends with him, the same people that'll tell you how important God, family, and country are, don't want to talk about Jack Murphy suddenly. And I have a big problem with that. So if conservatives don't want to talk about Jack Murphy, I do want to talk about Jack Murphy because clearly there is something to hide. And I am very uncomfortable with that considering I have promoted a lot of these people and a lot of these people have had the same type of uh, ideas when it comes to identity politics and Hollywood and all of that. But I don't like what I am seeing because they won't even acknowledge it. Now, as I've said here, I don't believe anyone that knows or promoted Jack Murphy is responsible for his behavior. 100%. But, so many conservatives, anti-left people, are flat out ignoring the situation completely. They won't even mention it. Not even a simple comment. Now, to be clear, to be clear, for anybody on the left that wants to use this uh, video or anything I'm saying as some type of argument to help your case, fuck you. Fuck the left. Fuck Hollywood. Fuck the Democrats. Fuck SJWs. Fuck anybody that uses identity politics. I don't like you. I want nothing to do with you. I will continue to roast you constantly because you're trash. But that doesn't mean I can't call out hypocrisy on the other side because I have no allegiance to the right. I have no allegiance to conservatives. I'm simply a Trump supporter. So remember that left when you want to use this video against uh, the conservatives? Remember, I'm a Trump supporter. I'm a proud Trump supporter. And I will never, ever apologize for that. Um, but getting back to the point at hand, it's not that they won't call it out even. It's that they don't even address it. They don't even mention it. Tim Pool once again on his show, once again on his show yesterday, his entire chat was just full of people calling it out. His entire chat was just calling it out. That's all it was. That's all it was. That's all it was. And no mention of it. And the funny thing is, is he also had another person on that knows Jack Murphy, that has taken plenty of pictures with Jack Murphy, that has promoted Jack Murphy, and that is Jack Posobiec. Jack Posobiec is someone, I mean, I've, I've plenty of times I've promoted Jack Posobiec. Told people, hey, go follow Jack Posobiec. He's great. He's awesome. You know, he's dropping truth bombs out there. And, and I firmly felt that way. Uh, and I still like Jack Posobiec in a lot of ways. But his silence on this issue is very, very interesting, considering how much he loves to call everybody out on stuff like this. He loves to call people out when they are silent on something. Yet with Jack Murphy, not even a peep, not even a comment. I know a lot of people hit me up about Robert Barnes uh, and Viva and their live stream the other day. Look, I don't agree with a lot of what they said. And I think a lot of what they said is very, very uh, misinformed. I, it's clear that they have not done a lot of research on this. But they at least acknowledged the story. So even if I disagree with it, they acknowledged it. They commented on it. That's all I'm asking. Just comment on it. Just acknowledge that it happened. 
I'm not telling you you have to disown the guy. I'm not saying that you have to, you know, treat him like the worst person in the world. But the fact that people like Tim Pool and Jack Posobiec and many others don't even acknowledge that this happened is very, very weird. It's extremely weird. And anyone with a working brain and the slightest bit of common sense can agree with that. And it's starting to make me realize what the hell is going on with the conservative side. Why are you guys so desperate to not even mention this story? It hurts your credibility. It hurts you a lot. Now, again, I like these guys, and I like of what, a lot of what they say and a lot of what they stand for, if they truly stand for it. But I, I, I'm, I'm really wondering about this now. And it makes me go back to other things, you know, from like Jack Posobiec. I've seen where he was all like, let's stand with Alita. You know, Alita, the Alita movement. Remember that? Well, this is also the same guy that deleted tweets where he was saying he fell asleep during Alita because he hated it. But then when it became like a conservative movement, suddenly he wanted to preach about how the greatness of Alita. Now, again, that's not inherently a bad thing. People's opinions change on movies, and that's fine. But when you see that, then you see where he deletes tweets about calling out that Gabby, what's her name? Gabby Petito, I think. He had like tweets where he was basically accusing uh, this girl of intentionally pulling the I'm missing card to get attention. And then when she turned her dead, he deleted the tweets. Now, again, the same guy that likes to call out deleted tweets on other people, but you got deleted tweets of your own, which, again, I've been aware of these things, but I'm like, ah, you know, that's how it is. But when it comes to this Jack Murphy situation, I'm looking at it going, why are you silent on something that you clearly are knowledgeable on and have publicly linked yourself to this guy multiple times? publicly linked yourself to it you made yourself publicly linked to it so again again it's not about them disowning it's not about them trashing it's not about them jumping in on the memes it's not about any of that it's about the fact that they won't even acknowledge that it happened that tells me that there is something going on so we're going to continue to follow this and there's more of them out there mike cernovich someone i'd never liked uh someone i've never had any use for whatsoever um, you know, obviously that guy's closely linked to this story. And you're just wondering, like, what the hell is going on here? So again, I don't have any, you know, uh, you know, allegiance to the right side of the argument. I agree with a lot of what they say. I agree with a lot of their points in terms of Hollywood and identity politics and the left and Democrats. I agree with all of that. The, the Democrats are, are dog shit. They're terrible. Uh, the left is terrible. Hollywood is a horrible place full of horrible people. That, that will not change. But just because I now suddenly am seeing things differently from the perspective of the right, it doesn't change how terrible the left is. It just makes it really interesting to go, why are so many of these people ignoring this story completely? Ignoring, flat out ignoring $100 super chats. Tim Pool, flat out ignoring them. Like at some point in time, you got to realize there's something more going on. You can dismiss the story and say it's not that important. And I can understand that to some, some extent. But when the chat itself has made the story important, it's time for the host to acknowledge the story. Even if it's a comment in passing. Hey, guys. Hey, look, you know, I know about the Jack Murphy situation. Obviously, we had him on the show. Um, that was after the You Are Here appearance. And then Jack Murphy made some comments. Sydney uh, and Eli or Elijah Schaefer have commented on it and kind of given more clarification. And right now, we're just trying to figure out how exactly we want to move forward with this. It's a very delicate situation. And I fully understand the audience is very, very concerned and, and, and wants to know what's going on. And I can promise you, let me give me a little time and I'll work out the details and I'll give you guys a, a proper answer. But I do appreciate your patience. So we're going to move forward on to some more topics that we have lined up and we'll get to this at a later date. Thank you guys. End of discussion. It's over. Why the fuck is that so hard to do? Like, you got to ask yourself, why would that be so hard for Tim Pool to do that? Why would that be so hard for him? It makes you wonder, is there something else we don't know? And I'm not saying there is. I'm saying that the lack of him addressing this makes you ask those questions. It's very, very concerning. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. I appreciate the support. 
The channel's obviously had a, a really nice bump recently. This will be the third, you know, channel of mine that's going to hit 100,000 subscribers. And I don't know what to say. I'm truly humbled and honored by that. It means the world to me. And, um, you know, we're seeing great things on Geeks and Gamers. We're seeing great things on Sports Wars. Thanks to Ryan Kennel from RK Outpost. Uh, RK Outpost. Please go subscribe to his channel, by the way. Um, he's about to hit 100,000 subscribers, too. That's my brother. And, uh, you know, everything we have going on, it, it's just a testament to all of you. So thank you, guys. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later.